Hey guys, so we're here at JPM Museo. So basically, um, it's a museum, but the good news is it's going to be uh, open for public. Well, you have to book to be hosted over here, but it's open for public. You know, normally you think of car museums, you're looking at Europe, you're looking at, you know, like the Volkswagen or maybe BMW, Porsche factory. I'd love to go to the Porsche factory in Stuttgart in uh, Zuffenhausen, but we have um, a local museum. And it's not just reserved to one brand, but it's, uh, it's a collection of uh, JB Chin's uh, favorite cars and basically cars and bikes. Let's take a look at this awesome place. Let's start the tour. But before I go, I just want to say there's so many cars over here. Um, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> and uh, I, I must forgive myself, pre apologize in advance because there are a lot of cars in here that I've never seen in real life. And um, a lot of the specs I don't even quite know, but hey, this is. Go and enjoy this little tour over here, shall we? Right. So with that, let's uh, let's head in. Right, so they have an interesting concept, thank you Bang. And the interesting concept is that uh, different parts of the showroom will be featuring different uh, cars from different parts of the world. So from here, uh, we have the K cars or Japanese cars, so, but the three K cars over here, right? So I just wanna point you over here, here's Yasin and the team, TM and of course Bobby. Bobby, thanks for inviting me here. The cappuccino, oh this is familiar sight, right? But this one over here, I've never seen this before in my life. I've never, never seen it. And it's a, it's a baby gull wing. It's a, a Mazda Zam, right? I think, I think I got it right. A Mazda Zam. But look at it, it's a, it's a gull wing. Ridiculous, right? <laughs> it's, it's cute. <laughs> Not the most good looking car, you know. I also take the cappuccino, but you know, let me know in the comments below what do you pick? That or this? I'll pick the cappuccino. Now this is the Jackie Chan car, <laughs> the GTO, but apparently this one is uh, a uh, twin turbo GTO, but uh, it's the uh, lightweight version apparently. Um, no four wheel, but it's only two wheels, right? So yeah, big car. You just brought in this one and then, but uh, yeah, MR2. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, um, yeah, MRS, Toyota, and what I've always been so uh, like astonished by is like how they form this little mirror behind you. I know people look at the, exterior, the other part of the car, but to, to, to create that mirror is ridiculous. Yeah, MR2, MR2, Mr. 2, mid engine sports cars, and you got two, you know, this uh, Pagoda here. It's, it's, it, this car is very interesting because, you know, um, I just. I, I, I didn't really understand, like Bobby, I don't understand the, the value of this car, but I've learned that there are, you know, you got the hard top, and then you can remove the hard top, then you can have the soft top, you know, so it's, it's and, and, and it can be soft top up, soft top down, apparently it's all manual. Yeah, but it's a, uh, man, this is pristine, the, the restoration of this car. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'm gonna go head on to a second part, there's a lot of, things to cover but we're just gonna try to cover as much as possible right there's a lot of cars but i'm just gonna focus on a few that uh that i found really, really interesting now here are the americans uh i think this is the 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 t car right uh, yes the t car and, and and apparently this is the car that uh you know back then you have this and you can see that it still resembles a horse carriage because back then you know people still were, were, were transitioned from horse carriage to cars Interesting enough, um, there was this interesting uh, marketing or business philosophy that said uh, people ask for faster horses and Ford decided to build cars, mass manufacture cars and that's the beginning of the automotive industry. Uh, check this out. <laughs> that's your windscreen. <laughs> so T-cars are like this and then this is like for example like Cabriolet racing whatever and then you have like your carriage you know uh, all these different designs will come from that base per se. Oh, now Mustangs, uh, I, I don't know a lot about Mustangs but uh, this is the Eleanor apparently from uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. You can tell that uh, Mr. JP Chin is a big fan of movies so 
yeah, that's that's the uh, the Eleanor, and you can see the whole bunch over here, Whew. right? Yeah, that's that reminds me of uh, John Wick. I think is this the same car of, uh, from John Wick? The same, same, the same, same yeah. similar model, yeah. uh. The one, the one that got the whole mafia gang killed because yeah. he destroyed this car. I can see why, I mean, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. <laughs> yeah, okay. All of them are left-hand drives, as they should, because back then it was only built as left-hand drives. Beautiful. Now I just want to see oh, the, the restoration quality is insane. Oh, oh, it's not, it's not for not to be open. There you go. Wow, broken open, bro. Oh, knocked. Oh, wow, look at that, GT500, the Shelby logo over here, pristine interior, wow, wow, and look at how the old, like, like, uh, um, gauge are, you know, these are not knobs, you have to push them up and down, beautiful, beautiful, look at that, look at all this, Gauge and all. Whew. Yeah, it's a pristine quality car. Mustangs are great, but there is an American car that has always struck, stole my heart since I was young, and it's in the. Oh, look at that. The Shelby Cobra. This is a car that you probably need a very big cojones. <laughs> if you know what cojones is, go and Google what it is. Uh, the thing between a man's legs <laughs> to drive. Now imagine this. Uh, I think it's seven liter ish. Uh, seven liters. I think it's five hundred horsepower. Some crazy amount of horsepower. Lightweight, less than a less than a ton. Uh, rear wheel drive, no aerodynamics, no ABS, no nothing. It's you and a car. It's a hazard. I can only imagine how fast this car goes. Uh, but this one is a. It's a. Oh, I mean, take a look at the interior. Look at that. This is a purist. This is not a sports car. This is a car for racers. That's how I feel. It's, it's a racing car. The, the, the kind of power and weight is it's, it's a racing car made legal. And then this little roll cage if anything happens. Wow, look at that. Look at the interior. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is apparently a replica, uh, South Africa, Africa, right? Made from South Africa, one to one. But still, I mean, a replica. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Beautiful Shelby Cobra. Uh, this is the one that uh, that the uh, Shelby himself uh, actually uh, was driving. You know, this model in uh, the movie Ford versus uh, Ferrari. Yeah, Ferrari versus Ford, Ford versus Ferrari. All right, so we are at. All the cars that raced, because one thing that uh, a lot of people may or may not know, JP, JPM um, gets a lot of involvement into racing. Uh, and I uh, just want to point out this car over here. Now, for those of you who are JDM fans, this is the uh, Nissan JDR that did the number ring. But the epic thing about this car, this engine is the Z-Tune the Z engine, right? Those of you who might know the Nismo Z-Tune. I'm not a big fan of it, but I. I uh, speaking to people like Eugene, they rave about this engine, the, the Z Tune engine. And this car, apparently, aside from the chassis, this same engine, just, just drop it in, and then this is what they drive around the Nurburgring. Ring. Right? So this one has seen track days. And the actual car they did the Nurburgring, Ring, this is the actual one over here. And all right, there you go, all, all the information over here. Hmm. GPM Racing rented the R34 from Japanese owner and raced it in the Merdeka Millennium Endurance Race. Oh, this one, GT40. Another epic car, continuation from the Shelby downstairs, right? right. But you know, the, the, the heritage of how Ford took down the, uh, the big boys, the Ferrari. And now in the Gulf livery, it's beautiful. This is also a replica, but an extremely well done replica. And what I love about this car is the the way the door opens, like check this out, like look at that. <laughs> now I'm not gonna jump in, but the the interior is mint, mint. Extremely well executed car. I mean, I, I don't know how to compare it to to a non uh, replica, but hey, 
It's worth, okay. And this car, by the way, appeared in Crazy Rich Asians. I just learned that, right? And I, I, and I like this car because it seems there's a bit of like vintage-ish feel to it, like this faded off here. And I wouldn't change that. I, I, like, I like it like that. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, there's this uh, Porsche, uh, classic Porsches around here, but this one is where it all started. I feel that evolving from the Beetle Porsche into an actual 911. And this restaurant is so beautiful. I hope you can see it in the camera. Beautiful finishing on this car. 911T, right? And the, this one, the interior is its original interior. Now think about it, it's probably more than 60 years old, right? And the interior is like this. I'm not gonna touch it that much because it's so beautiful. Look at that. And look at the seats. It's like a little time capsule, you know? Wow. And if you notice, that's how our dashboards in 911s look like right now. It's the, so preserved in that. It's epic. I've never seen this car in person. <laughs> Maybe they left this car over here in 2021, okay? But, but look at this. It's freaking stainless steel. Look at that, it's stainless steel. Ridiculous. And with the gal wing door, and the interior, it's, it's uh, I mean, it's it's well maintained, it's taken care of. I look at the gauges, even the gearbox looks so, oh, is that, that retro modern feel, like, it's, it's how, the back in the days, how people wanted, what they think would, would be modern, right? DeLorean, look at that. Ooh. DMC DeLorean. Such an epic car, isn't it? Oh, and of course there's, there's Herbie over there and many other cars over here, right? Because you got to come here and see this for yourself. But this car, I mean, there's so many over here. It's, it's one car that I, I really appreciate to have this museum here because it's something that us Malaysians don't actually see, you know? So, you know, rather than your usual Ferraris, uh, you know, Lamborghinis and you know, AMGs, whatever, this is something worth coming to see with your own eyes. Feast it in your own eyes, smell it, feel it. It's ridiculous. All right, what up? Hey guys, so that's the uh, quick tour around uh, uh, the museum and uh, I'm not putting the whole video up. Uh, not, I didn't show you all the cars. Number one, because there's too many cars. But number two, uh, I would love for you to come and see the car for yourself. There's something really unique about actually seeing it in the flesh. So, uh, whenever the museum is up, I hope the details will be out uh, shortly. But when the opportunity is there, guys, uh, it's a place that's worth visiting. You know, like like for example, the DMC the DeLorean. You you never be able to see it in person in Malaysian roads. It's, it's quite rare. And uh, although it's not the fastest car whatsoever, it's an icon, right? And then you got the the, the replica um, Shelby. Like for me, lah, like, the Shelby Cobra. And then there's so many cars. I I, I cannot name them. But uh, if you're a car enthusiast, rather than the usual drive and, and stuff, and you know, in the future, you'll be guided by someone who will tell you about the history of the car. So you don't have to know everything about the car. Get a couple of friends, go there and learn about the cars and you know, memorable, memorable uh, uh, experience per se. So yeah, um, definitely worth going, okay? So with that, thank you so much. And I want to thank uh, um, Yasin, TM for taking us around and of course JB Chin for allowing us to see your amazing collection and uh, yeah and also thank Bobby hey Bobby Yo. Bobby is now my oh yeah. uh, no so, so thanks Bobby as well <laughs> I got my phone this now <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys uh, see you in another episode and uh, ciao